A special seminar over on Grand Bahama promoting climate resilient agriculture and the fishing in the school system. Once again, here's Jamila Mizek. The Department of Agriculture hosting a group of teachers to a seminar focused on aquaponics, a system of aquaculture in which the waste produced by farmed fish or other aquatic creatures supplies the nutrients for plants grown hydroponically, which in turn purifies the water. Leading the discussion was BAMSI National Youth Development Officer, Ezra Lee Roll, who says the goal is to sensitize more young people to climate smart agriculture. What we want to include is more sustainable practices in agriculture culture, more practices that will allow us to work along with the environment to produce as much as we can produce to feed our economy. That's our number one goal is to feed our economy. Um, 90, about 90 percent now of our food is being imported. That places a strain on our health care system because now we're eating things that, you know, chemical filled, preservative filled. Um, when we look at our schools, not a lot of young people are interested in agriculture, and most of our farmers are aged, and I don't want to say dying, but retiring. So we are trying to um, get more people, more young people into agriculture, and we are looking to do it through technological advancements. She says they're hoping that through the program, the students gain a greater appreciation for the science of agriculture, and there are some key objectives. So what we want to do is reinforce scientific concepts and technical components in your science classrooms. We want to explore uh, different ways of, that aquaponics can be integrated on a classroom level, meaning that when we put these systems in your schools, we want the science teacher, the math teacher, the, the, the food economics teacher. We want everyone to be able to integrate aquaponics and, and the techniques that comes with aquaponics, the components of aquaponics, and, and be able to apply it to some aspect of their classroom instruction. Jamila Mizek, Saturday Network News.